afternoon, but we want to get right over to meteorologist Natalie Ferrari tracking potential, tro potential tropical cyclone nine in the Atlantic. Natalie. Yeah, it's a lot to handle for sure. A lot of details that we've really been sifting through and ironing through over the past several days. But yeah, potential tropical cyclone nine still turning its way in the eastern portions of the Caribbean as we speak. The latest 11 a.m. update from the National Hurricane Center continues to light up a good portion of the lesser, the leeward islands, rather, all the way up through Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Turks and Caicos. And now parts of the Bahamas with tropical storm watches and warnings. That is the newest information from the Hurricane Center. Also, Hurricane Hunters, you know, they went through this activity this morning. Still no well-defined center of circulation. This is very important as far as officially classifying it as a tropical storm and also very important in really grasping this model data, determining how intense it would become or the actual direction it could do as far as those next four to five days out. So as we We've been stressing for days. Do not get too bogged down on the actual timing of this track and the details of the track. We are still ironing through it day by day, and we will know more as we get the latest updates from the National Hurricane Center. Regardless of formation or not, it is still producing heavy rainfall and life-threatening flooding in the Caribbean today. So we will talk more about that. I'm going to take a deeper dive as far as what the local impacts could mean for us early next week. That's all coming up. You can track the tropics and get helpful information to make sure your hurricane kit is ready just in case by texting the word tropics to 727-577-8522. We'll send a link to our hurricane headquarters right to your phone.